Today, an iconic neon sign is glowing again after a restoration. Yeah, but it's more than just a grand reopening for the Arby's near 40th Street in Thomas. Erin e. live with how this is helping feed the hungry here in our state. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Like you mentioned, Arby's is known for that iconic cowboy hat sign and logo and also for that slogan, Arby's, we have the meats. But today they're actually celebrating their grand reopening here at their flagship restaurant in Phoenix. They're donating $30,000 to St. Mary's Food Bank. So giving back, I want to bring in actually Jerry, though, with St. Mary's. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am doing well. Looks first, great, it, it does. It's lit. <laughs> Jerry, first tell us, how did this partnership come about? Uh, Arby's has been a longtime supporter of St. Mary's Food Bank. They donated over $100,000 just in the last five years. And uh, the owners of Arby's and the franchisees, they were doing renovations to a lot of their um, a lot of their restaurants. This one took three months to, it was closed for renovations. The idea was, are we going to redo this sign? It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of uh, a work, a lot of tedious work to do the sign. It cost about $30,000 to renovate this sign. And they decided to make a donation in kind to the food bank as well and preserve something that's been standing in the Valley since 1972. And speaking of this donation, how significant is it for your organization to receive this, especially right now with the yeah, holidays upon us? Absolutely, with Thanksgiving right around the corner. Every dollar we receive at St. Mary's Food Bank allows us to provide seven meals. So you times that by $30,000. You're talking about more than 200,000 meals in the Valley. And uh, Arizona gets to keep one of these signs. There's only about 20 left in the world. There used to be outside of every uh, Arby's in the 60s and 70s, only about 20 left. So we were able to save the only one that's left in Arizona. And I'm looking forward to speaking to Arby's rep because I want to know how this sign became a historic landmark here in Arizona. Correct. Yeah. And then doesn't it doesn't it, you, you don't have to go back too far in Arizona to be a historical <laughs> landmark, but this one's been around more than 50 years, and now due to this renovation, we know it'll be around for 50 more. All right, Jerry, just for people out there, if they are interested in helping St. Mary's in any type of way, yes. um, what can they do at this point? We are still 9,000 turkeys, more than 9,000 turkeys of our short of our goal, with just about two weeks left to Thanksgiving. If people can help us out with a donation of turkeys, that would be fantastic, or you can make a monetary donation at firstfoodbank.org. About $13 will put a turkey on a table for a family for Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Jerry. All right, guys, the official unveiling is at 7 o'clock this morning. Come on out if you can make it out. But also, I'm told there's some special deals throughout the week for all those Arby's sandwich lovers. And I'll send it back to you in the studio. Erin e., uh, not bad on the slogan there. <laughs> <laughs> if they want a woman, then you're their girl. We have girl. the meat. Not bad. Thank you. <laughs> 541. I was